The Wii U actually has a large selection of Pokemon games that you can play, so now's the time to download these games before the eShop closes. So the first game is Pokemon Rubble U, and this is actually the first Pokemon game released on the Wii U. And it's not the best game, but it's definitely a part of the Wii U history, and it's something that people should try before they judge it. There's about 650 different Pokemon in this game that you can catch. This game is really similar to Pokemon Rubble Blast, like on the 3DS and everything. It's pretty much the Wii U version of that. It's a little bit different. You beat different arenas to unlock new Pokemon, and every single arena has its own boss Pokemon that you must defeat to advance to the next level. So like I said earlier, this game is not great, but it's definitely a game that you should try to download before the Wii U eShop closes. The Wii U has a really solid virtual console library so you could play a lot of the ds pokemon games on here some of those being pokemon mystery dungeon red and blue rescue team which are two different games so these mystery dungeon games are pretty much loved or hated by people like some people think they're really dumb and other people think that they're amazing i personally think they're a really cool spinoff of course i like the mainline pokemon games more but these are definitely really fun to play so pretty much you play as a human that's turned into a pokemon where you have to explore the world and go through different dungeons and everything it's a mission based game with a lot of different side quests which you get rewarded when you complete the quest and there's different pokemon battles as well so it's kind of cool like you're playing as the pokemon in this game rather than you're playing as a trainer catching pokemon i recommend these games a lot i think they're pretty cool so another cool Pokemon spinoff game that you can download on the Wii U is Pokemon Ranger. So pretty much you play as a Ranger and you pretty much capture Pokemon by drawing circles around them. And there's about 10 main missions in this game. There's also a few side missions and you're trying to calm down or control wild Pokemon to better the surrounding nature. You can also capture and stop Pokemon poachers and also stop people that are using their Pokemon to commit crimes and get away with stuff. So it's kind of like a law and order Pokemon game. So you're kind of playing as a sheriff or whatever, like stopping criminals and bad Pokemon and everything. It's definitely a pretty neat spinoff. So going along with Pokemon Ranger, you can actually get two more Pokemon Ranger games on the Wii U. So they also offer Shadows of Almia and Guardian Signs, which are just more installations of this series on different regions. I think it's really cool that you can play these games on the Wii U because these were DS games. You can't play the DS Virtual Console on the Switch. Maybe one day, that'd be pretty cool. Maybe they have that up their sleeve still. But, but as of right now, you can only play these on the Wii U. And of course, if you had them on the DS, you could play them too. But I think the world of Pokemon spinoffs is really cool. And I think there's a lot of hidden gems. And I think over time, people have began to appreciate these old spinoff games more with the classic graphics and everything. And I think there's something that everybody can enjoy. Something I also forgot to mention earlier, there is another Pokemon Mystery Dungeon game called Explorers of Sky available to download with the Virtual Console on the Wii U. It's pretty much the same as its predecessor, but you know, of course it has more gameplay, more additional features and everything. Just kind of an update of the previous game. Still definitely worth playing. I highly recommend playing all of the Mystery Dungeon games. Another one of the Wii U's amazing virtual console Pokemon selection is, is Pokemon Pinball Ruby and Sapphire. So this is just a Pokemon Pinball game, but it's so fun. I love these arcade style games, especially since it's a Pokemon themed pinball machine. I just think this is so fun. These are really addicting games. There's just so much going on in the screen. And I feel like you could play this game for a long time. This game just has a really fun competitive feel to it. And it's for sure a game to play. I definitely recommend Pokemon Pinball for sure. And the last game on my list is Pokemon Snap from the N64, and I know you can play this on the Switch now, but something about playing it on the Wii U is just really cool, I guess. If you don't know what Pokemon Snap is, pretty much you're like a photographer on an island and you take pictures of Pokemon and you get rated in scores of how good your picture is or if you get like a rare or hard to capture moment. It's a really fun game. It's kind of hard to control. The controls are like inverted sometimes, which is like really annoying, but it's a really fun game. The old graphics are kind of funky at first, but you get used to it really quick. New Pokemon Snap was really fun. I enjoyed that game a lot. I've only played a little bit of the original Pokemon Snap, but it's a super fun game, and it's a really big part of Pokemon's history too, because it's such an old game. Make sure to drop a like and subscribe for more content, guys. The Wii U and 3DS eShop close March 27th, I believe, so we have like less than two weeks, so download all these games while you can. Unfortunately, the Wii U didn't have more exclusive Pokemon games, because the Wii U is kind of a failure, but looking back, it's a really unique console. I definitely think people should pick up a Wii U before everything spikes. I know games for them are already really expensive, so they're probably either going to stay really expensive or get more expensive. But hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to leave a comment down below, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.